Hey guys, my name is Bianca Rose, and I've jumped on a moving train. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> we're at a friend's house in Brazil, and we're just visiting, yada yada. We got our train tickets, it's kind of down the road a little bit, um, and we're waiting for it to be time to go. We're kind of getting ready to go, like, grabbing our stuff, saying our goodbyes. I see an awesome caterpillar. Like, whoa, you can't leave that unnoticed. I'm like, Mom, come see this. This is so cool. It's a caterpillar. And so she's up there, like, taking pictures. We're all like, oh, my gosh, is it poisonous? Like, it's really fluffy, and it's got the two little spike things coming out of the back. And it's looking really cool. She's taking pictures, like, whoa. And then we hear the whistle of the train. <laughs> it's starting to leave. I don't even... So we bolt. We just go for it. We're running down the hill, down the driveway, street thing, I don't even know what you call it. We cross the train track and we're running this way. The train's coming this way and we'll just like, we have to turn around and go. And the train's like just starting. It's like going. And my mom's like, jump on, you gotta get on. I'm like, mom, you insane, you crazy. Like, this is so stupid. She's like, get on, grab on. And so you've got the little, I don't know what you call it, but the sections of train and in the middle there's a step to cross between the little carts I'm gonna call it a little there's a bit of the train and then it connects and then there's another bit and so lots of bits make a train let's just go with that and so I grab onto the bar I'm running this thing is like pulling me and I'm like leaping and it's like pulling me and so I jump on and I'm on people inside they're freaking out they're like what are these people doing and we lose my mom I don't know she falls behind my brother's running alongside. He's like, grab my jacket. He doesn't want to carry it. He takes off. <laughs> Sorry, you heard the noise. He takes off his jacket. He's like, grab it. And he's like putting it down there. It lands in the chains of it. So I'm grabbing onto one of the bars, and I bend down to pick up the, the jacket. And then I look up, and some guy is like, opens the door, and he like has his hand down there. And he's like, come on. And so this is in Brazil. I don't really speak Portuguese. I don't know what's going on. So he helps me in. My brother ends up jumping on, and so we're together and sitting down, and people are, like, freaking out and, like, talking to us in Portuguese. My mom comes in from a different train. Like, this train stops at this point. Like, the, someone notified the captain, and the entire train, <laughs> it's stopped by this time. So, um, it slowed down for my brother to be able to get on by that time. My mom comes in from the other station thing, from the other bit section of train <laughs> and so she walks in people are like talking to her like what are you crazy yada yada and um it was, it was really awkward and so we had to sit on this train until we got to the town I, everything that happened was kind of a blur I just remember it being awkward I just like looked out the window and stuff and then um we come off to the station and some man is coming or I think it was a woman an adult came up to my mom and starts talking to him in Portuguese like um and asked my mom what they had said later, and so she was saying that um, their mother almost had a heart attack because she was really old and she didn't know what had happened. They thought that I had fallen when I bent down to pick up the jacket, and so they're really concerned. And <clears throat> I'm okay. My mom's okay. My brother's okay. Moral of the story is be on time. Don't go jumping on moving trains or you'll get yelled at by an old woman.